Today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it and be glad in it as we study His Word. And like always, we're going to be explaining another often confusing question. So I hope you've got a pen, a paper, and your Bible. And let's get started. What does the Bible say about raising children? What does the Bible say about raising children? We know that God created the family and his design was for a man and a woman to marry for life and to raise children to know and honor him. Mark 10.9 What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Malachi 2.15 And did God not he make one, yet he had the residue of the Spirit, and wherefore one, that he might seek a godly seed, therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. And likewise also we understand that adoption is also God's idea, and he models his adoption for us as his children. Romans 8.15 For you have not received the fee the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Okay, you see? So regardless of the means by which they enter a family, children are a gift from God and He cares about how they are raised. Psalms 127 verse 3, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is His reward. So when God gives us gifts, he also gives us clear instructions about their use. Because when God led the Israelites out of bondage, he commanded them to teach their children all that he had done for them. Deuteronomy 6, 6 to 7, it says, And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in the house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou rises up. God's desire is that the generations to come would continue to uphold his commandments and his commands. And when one of the generations fail to instill God's laws in the next, a society quickly declines and parents have not only a responsibility to their children but an assignment from God to impart his values and truths into their lives. Several places in the scripture gives uh, specific instructions to parents about how to raise their children. The Bible says in uh, Ephesians 6.4 Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. friends. There are several ways that parents might provoke their children to anger. Some parents set impossible standards so that a child, a child's despair of ever achieving them and uh, some parents tease and ridicule or humiliate their children as a means of punishment which does nothing but to provoke them to anger inconsistently can also provoke to anger as a child is never sure about the consequences of his actions. And hypocrisy provokes children to anger when parents require behavior from children that parents are not choosing for themselves. So at the end of the day, to bring them up, there must be discipline. Think about what the Bible says in the book of uh, Numbers 14 verse 18. The Lord is, is long-suffering and of great mercy forgiving iniquity and transgression and by no means clearing the guilty visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation so this means we have to bring up children in the discipline and instruction of the Lord meaning that parents should train their children the way of, of God because God is slow to anger yes he's also patient we should be like that. Think about the patience of God. 
Psalms 86 verse 15 But thou, O Lord, are good, full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. And God is also forgiving. Daniel 9 9 To the Lord our God belongs mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against Him. And also, God's discipline is designed to bring us unto repentance. Hebrews 12 verse 6 For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, he scourges every son that he receives. If you endure chastening, God deals with you as his son. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? You see? And likewise, uh, God's instruction is found in his word. John 17, 17 Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. And also, God desires that parents fill their homes with His truth. Deuteronomy 6, 6 to 7 And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and talk of them. When thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. God also disciplines his children. Proverbs 3.11 My son despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be wary of his correction. And he expects earthly parents to do the same. Proverbs 23 verse 13 Withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beatest him with a rod, he shall not die. And also, think about Psalms 94 verse 12. It says, Blessed is the one that you discipline, Lord, the one that you teach from your law. The word discipline comes from the root word disciple. To discipline someone means to make a disciple of him. And God's discipline is designed to conform us into the image of Christ. Romans 8, 29, from whom he, he did foreknow. He also did predestinate us to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Parents can make disciples of their children by instilling values and life lessons that they have learned. And as parents, they should practice godly living and make spirit control decisions. Galatians 5.16 For this I say then walk in the spirit that you do not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So this is very important for parents so that they can encourage their children to follow their example. Proper, consistent discipline brings a harvest of righteousness. Hebrews 12, 11. And failure to disciple, uh, or to disciple children or to discipline children results in dishonor for both parent and, and a child. Proverbs 10, verse 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, a wise son, make it a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. You see, it's very important for a parent to build a child in the ways of God. Because there's so many verses speaking about this. And of course, even the famous Proverbs, which are of Solomon, they have, they have told us so much about how to raise children. Like for example, Proverbs 15 verse 32, it tells us that the one who ignores discipline despises himself. And the Lord brought judgment upon Eli the priest because he allowed his sons to dishonor the Lord and failed to restrain them. 1 Samuel 3.13 So we understand that children are a heritage from the Lord. Psalms 27 verse 3 127 verse 3 And God places them in families and gives them parents to guide in how they are to be raised. And the goal of good parenting is to produce wise children who know and honor God with their lives. Proverbs 23 verse 24 This one shows us the end result of raising children according to God's plan. The Bible says, The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he that begetteth the wise child shall have joy of him. So, what a pleasure it is to have children who are wise, and they are wise in the ways of God. That's why it's really important to raise your children in the ways of God. 
And that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. Hope you've learned something. You can always download this podcast to listen later offline or share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite and subscribe to our channels uh, so that you can always be notified whenever I post a new podcast. And if you'd like to support this ministry, please, you can use the details in the description below. Otherwise, hope to see you soon in the next one.